Hello, friends. Today, let's solve remove invalid parentheses problem. This is a very, um, I think, classic problem. The reason I want to explain it is that I want to introduce a very useful website. I think it will help you to understand the function calling and the operation order in Java, which is the Java visualization uh, visualizer. I will attach the link below. Okay, so now let's see the problem statement. Remove the minimum number of invalid parentheses in order to make the input string valid. Return all possible results. And uh, we should notice the note that the input string may contain letters other than the parentheses. So for this example, we just keep this A as it is. So we can see some hints, which is return all possible results. That means we can only use brute force or backtracking because we need to generate all the possible results. Uh, the hard part is that we should first know the what is the minimum number of the invalid parentheses. Then I, we can generate all the possible results. Mm. And we can see this example. For this example, we can either remove this close parentheses and this close parentheses. The result is the same, just this one. But we cannot generate these two. I mean, we cannot return these two results. We can only return one because uh, technically the, these two are the same. So we need to avoid the uh, duplicate results. This is one um, hard part. Another part is that uh, um, I think, okay, uh, let's recall when we solve some problem related to parentheses, we can usually use a stack. When we meet the open parentheses, we push that char uh, character into the stack. When we meet the close parentheses, we just pop the previous character from the stack. But in this case, we can sometimes we can also use the integer. We can call it counter. When we meet the open parentheses, we let the counter increment by one. When we meet the close parentheses, we make the um, counter decrement by one. So for this problem, we also use that counter. Uh, so obviously, we need to iterate this string once. We just uh, count these parentheses. But one thing you should notice is that if we meet uh, an open parenthesis, we cannot say it is invalid. We need to see the rest part. But if we know currently the close parenthesis is more than open parentheses, we know it is already invalid. So we need to remove redundant close parentheses. So that's the whole point. Actually, when we, if we use a pointer start from zero, when we arrive here, we know it is already invalid. We need at least to remove one close parentheses. So that's the whole idea. So. When do we know we should stop here? That is, the stack is already less than zero. So once the stack is, what we call this counter stack, when this uh, stack is less than zero, we just uh, stop. And then we should try to remove this close parentheses. So we need another thing. If the stack less than zero, we should uh, keep this point here. So that means we need uh, a second pointer. Same pointer, pointer start from the zero to this place. We meet this close parenthesis. Uh, parenthesis. We just remove it and uh, uh, call the whatever function again because we need uh, recursively to check the rest part. Okay, that's the whole pointer. But uh, you can see we can either. Um, remove this 
close parentheses or this close parentheses, but we cannot remove this. Because if we re remove this, it will generate a duplicate result. So how do we avoid this one? I think this part is the same as what we do for the three sum problem. Once the current character is the same as the previous character, we just continue. So that's the same idea. Mm, okay. But if what if we do not meet uh, this stack less than zero, or, or we finish the iteration, the first iteration, the stack is greater than zero, that means we can just uh, think uh, um, reversely. That means the left, the open parenthesis is, is greater than the closed parenthesis. We can just uh, switch these two character. That means we reverse this string and we also change a uh, switch the open parenthesis and the close parenthesis. So this is the beauty of this solution. Uh, thanks for the discussion, the first person I learned from this result. Okay, let's continue. Uh, okay, if not the case, the stock is just uh, zero, that means current string is a result. We just add it to the result list. Uh, one thing you need to be careful is the order. If current open and close parenthesis is the normal order, we just add it to result. Otherwise, we also need to reverse this string. Okay, so I think it should be clear to you what the solution is. Let's write the code. And in the end, we will see the visualization. Okay, first, uh, we need uh, a result, we call it uh, array list, and we use a help function. It's quite normal, we usually call it a help function. Mm, we need the string, and we need the two pointers, one is from zero, another is also from zero, result. And as we need to know what is open parentheses and the closed parentheses, so we we would better just pass it uh, uh, as an array. And then we return this result. Let's write this help function. First, we need the string uh, left, right, two pointers. Um, and uh, that is the result. We also need a parenthesis chart. So we need a stack start from zero. And first, we need to move this right pointer to see whether at some time the close parenthesis is greater than the number of the open parenthesis. So right less than, uh, I'd like to write an n, which is s dot length, n, and the right increment by one. We get a current char, which is s char at uh, right. If this char equal to the parenthesis zero, which is an open parenthesis, then stack increment by one. Else, if c a current char is parenthesis one, we let uh, stack decrement by one. Once the stack is less than zero, we just break. Okay, so now we are here. Because we do not always be the stack less than zero, maybe stack just greater than zero. All the characters are open presses, for example. We still need to check if it's less than zero. It's uh, That means we need to remove one closed parenthesis. So we also need, uh, we uh, move this left, we keep the right uh, like uh, here. We need to move the left, so left less or equal than right, left increment by one. Uh, we can, I think we can write here, c equal to s char at left. Uh, we need to remove the closed parenthesis, so if this char not equal to the closed parenthesis, we just continue. So if c not equal to parenthesis 1, we just continue. Another thing we need to remove the duplicate, avoid the duplicate. So if left greater than 0 and uh, 
s char left equal to s char at left minus one and just continue otherwise we need to remove the current character we need to call this function recursively but the new string what that or what it will be it will be two parts we remove current char so the substring from zero to left because the this part is exclusive so plus s substring from left plus one do not need to write uh, uh, the second parameters because uh, by default in default it is till the end okay so now this is left why does that need to be left plus one because we already removed that character so the current place is original strings uh, left plus one so this is left not left plus one okay right and the result and pairs not need to reverse this order else if the stack greater than zero if it's greater than zero we just need to reverse the order how to get the string reverse we need to first convert it to string builder because string builder have this function reverse then we convert it to string uh, place is still zero zero because if we arrive here that means um all the string should be treated reversely so it's zero zero and the result this part you should know the par parenthesis order has changed so it's close open okay else we just add a string to the result but you should first check um, if parenthesis zero equal to the close uh, open that means it is the normal order so we just add s if it's reverse order we should add uh, the reversed string so the same we new converted uh, we build a new string builder and we reverse it and then we convert it to string okay yep i think we finished okay let's see the java visualization this uh, i think this website is quite good because you can see it uh, quite um, um, it's just good this is the example string okay so first uh, they run the main function then they run this remove invalid parentheses and then they call this help function this is the help function it's just like stack when you call a new function it put it on top of this stack okay you can see the change of the oh sorry change of these uh, variables i read it, this system outprint uh, current uh, string is what so here just uh, move this right pointer you can see the stack is change it just uh, do this for loop and uh, once this stack is less than zero uh, when the right is equal to four the stack is zero uh, is negative one so it uh, break now we are here stack is less than zero we move this left forward we only remove it when the current character is equal to close parentheses and then we remove that we call it the help function again so this is the new help function current uh, string is mm, you can see this one because we remove this character and then do the same thing da 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 okay but you should notice that uh, next time the this function the right the right is still uh, I think it's still five um right is five because we need to remove this right or left and not change but we move this right forward okay so we find uh, the stack is equal to zero because right only move two place from uh 
four to five to six. Okay, then we go to this part is equal to zero, and we check the order. It's the normal order. Order. So we add the current string to the result, which is this one. It's valid. Okay, and we pop that help function. We go here again. Then we move this left. And uh, we find another valid um, string, which is this one. OK, so I think you can finish this visualization afterwards. I will put this link below. OK, thank you for watching. See you next time.